day good people and welcome back to my channel now today's video i'm not gonna hold you guys for that long but there are some more things that i want to get into but before we get into all that if you're not subscribed to this channel hit that subscription button hit that notification button and bell so that we can be notified every time i'm dropping a video hit the like button hit the share button and as always drop a comment in that comment section now let's get to today's video Now, like I said in this video, I'm going to try not to hold you guys for that long, but there are some things that I want to get into really quickly when we are to furthermore discussing Diddy's situation. Now, I will say this. There has been a lot of women, women in the entertainment industry like Ev uh, Evelyn Lozada from Basketball Wise Franchise um, and a couple of other different women. I told you guys in a previous video about Tahiri coming out and talking about Joe. Like These different women are getting upset who have allegedly been in abusive relationships. And when they are seeing people like they say are abusers um, make comments and talk about the Diddy situation and talk about how sad and how filthy this situation is, these are triggering words to these type of women. And these women are all coming out and discussing their frustrations on these men. Like, how the hell are you going to sit up there and talk about Diddy because he got caught? When you have been doing the same thing or has done the same thing to these women that are coming out. And honestly, I, I, I feel where these women are coming from. And the women that are talking have actually been women that have been vocal. Like my previous video, I told you guys that to hear, even though, you know, I feel a certain type of way because she is known to be that way with men as well. But she has been come out and been vocal about her relationship when she was dating Joe Budden. And also, Evelyn has been, you know, very vocal about the things that have happened to her. Even when she was dating Chad Ochocinco and got that head bun and everything, had to get stitches in her forehead. So, you know, a lot of these men who are coming out and talking about this situation with Diddy, a lot of the women are now like, hold on, I know you ain't talking. And like I told you guys before, I told y'all, once his stuff really come out, and once there is proof of things that people have been saying that have been going on, and now that you got the proof, now what you're going to get is a whole bunch of other men down the line like, oh, I hope they don't come barking up my tree. When in reality, they are going to come barking up your tree because in reality, you guys have all been doing the same thing. It's just a matter of who got caught and when you got caught. You know what I'm saying? And in Diddy's aspect, he has so much money. He's at the top of the food chain. You know what I'm saying? So his stuff hits a little bit harder than everybody else's. I think a lot of these women are like, hey, bro, you guys have been doing a lot of the same things that's been going on and y'all want to talk about him, but we should be really talking about y'all. So I Honestly, I think that a lot more women are going to come out and start discussing these different rappers, these different basketball players, football, baseball, whatever the hell the case may be. These women are going to start drawing out this issue and they're going to start putting these other men on blast. And stories, if you haven't heard, they're going to start coming forefront and it's going to be way more docu-series coming out, not just about Diddy, but about these other men. So 50 Cent might want to gear up and get ready so that way he can make even more money off of these other people. The last thing that I want to get into when we're discussing also this Diddy situation, Shaka Khan's daughter came out and made a post and she is thrilled at everything that is going on with Diddy and his downfall and his demise, as I would be if this further situation took place with my mother. She alleges that Diddy was disrespectful to her mother, Shaka Khan. He got all up in her face and was disrespectful. He was yelling at her. And then she says that when her 19-year-old brother tried to de-escalate the situation and tried to get at Diddy and be like, why are you all up in my mama's face? Diddy's security guards allegedly jumped her brother, and he was 19 at the time. So she is thrilled that all of this is going down with Diddy. And I'm going to tell you like this. More people are going to come out with these stories. I'm pretty sure that Shaka Khan and her daughter went around and told people some, you know, some trusted people these stories. And people probably were just like, well, and kind of just like left it on deaf ears because I hadn't heard about this situation. And I didn't find any stories and hadn't heard anybody say nothing like this. But I know Shaka Khan is not one to come out there with false information. Actually, she tells too much information and too much of other people's information at times. You know what I'm saying? But I've never known her to come out and to tell no lies. And for her daughter to feel this heavily on this situation, then, yeah, I'm thinking there's some truth to it. And honestly, there probably will be more people who come forth and say he was this rude to the X, Y, and Z. And I can't believe that he was rude to Shaka Khan. Like, what the hell was you rude to her for? But anyways... 
You got her son allegedly beat up and he was 19 at the time. And Shaka Khan's daughter don't appreciate that. So her and her mom are having a field day with this. There's definitely going to be more to come. And like 50 Cent already said, the more allegations and the more stuff that comes out, he's definitely going to need Netflix to know that he's going to need more episodes for his docuseries. And honestly, this is going to be a moneymaker for him. He's going to make bank because I don't see this ending and I don't see nobody letting up anytime soon. And the last thing that I want to add in here, I told you guys that a whole bunch of people, I wish that a whole bunch of people more, would stop following this gentleman on Instagram. And it looks like his alleged girlfriend, Meek Mills, has unfollowed him. And it's crazy because you got Young Miami, I told y'all about the other day, stop following Diddy. But he's still following her. And then you got Meek Mills who unfollowed him. But he's still following me. It's like, honestly, he's not paying attention or don't care right now who's unfollowing him. And he's still following these folks. But it's like, I mean, the proof is in the pudding. Don't try to scoot away now. And it's, it's weird because now everybody's trying to unfollow. But I'm like... Meek, you was one of the main ones defending his children, defending him. Y'all shouldn't be talking about him like this and all that kind of stuff. What is you defending him for? And now you all of a sudden unfollowing the brother? Why you stop unfollowing your boy? Y'all drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think about all this. And I'm going to catch y'all in the next video respectfully.